Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at distance on a number line and what that will mean for adding positive and negative numbers. Let's take a look. We're going to review what a number line is, do some guided practice, and then we're going to start adding negatives. It is tough to add negatives, but we're going to walk through it and make it as easy as possible. Let's get into it. First off, a number line is horizontal like this. When you're increasing, it is a number moving from the left to the right. When it's decreasing, the number is moving from the right to the left. That line right there that you see is anything on the left of that number, zero, is negative. Anything on the right of that number is positive. That's the basics of a horizontal number line. You can have a vertical number line with all of these same factors. Up is increased, down is decreasing, zero is marked there, and everything ab below the zero is a negative, everything above the zero is a positive. In our examples, we're going to focus mainly on horizontal number lines, but it's good to know that these do exist in a vertical way as well. The next thing you need to know about number lines is that you can identify a point on a number line. For example, you see some points there labeled in orange, red, green, and blue. This point up here is positive 5. This point is negative 2 and a half, the red point. We've got a negative 4 and a positive 1 and a half. Notice that each mark does not necessarily mean a full number because number lines can do that. So keep an eye on the actual scale of the number line as well because you will see them with half points in them or each point might represent five, might go up by five, 10, 15. Look at the scale carefully when you're looking at a number line. Here's an example where the numbers go up. Each mark goes up by five, but I only label it every 10. So what I want you to try and do is to label this number line with the points that I've given there, 15, negative 25, 50, and negative 10. Try that out, three, two, one, go! All right, did you put 15 there? That's the correct spot for 15. There's negative 25, there's positive 50, and negative 10. I think the most tricky one of these is negative 25 because usually we see the number 20 and we want to move to the right to make it 25. But negative numbers get, the number themselves gets larger as you move to the left because the number is actually getting smaller, which is kind of doesn't make sense. But you can see it goes from 20 to 25 and 30. If you start at zero and count by fives, negative five, negative 10, negative 15, negative 20, negative 25. And that might help to start at zero and count away as well. Now let's talk about distance. This is the point of this lesson today. We are going to be looking at distance on a number line. So let's take a look at it. First off, if you were to start at zero and add negative two, it would look like this. I'm starting at zero and I'm going negative two places. The way I would write this out is zero plus negative two. And the final result is negative 2. So I would say 0 plus negative 2 equals negative 2. And that may seem kind of weird to write it out like this, but we're going to try writing it out like that because I think in the long run, it will help us to understand how it works when we're joining together negatives and 0 or negatives and positives. Let's try another one. If we start at negative 3 and we add negative 1, that would look like this. I'm starting at negative three, and then I'm adding one more negative. The way we would write this is negative three plus negative one equals negative four. Notice when you add two negatives, you get an even bigger negative or an even more negative number. Let's try this one. If we start at five and add negative 25, Notice when we're adding that negative that you're always pointing that arrow to the left. Also, we start at five and add negative 25. That brings us all the way down to negative 20. We would write this as five plus negative 25 is equal to negative 20. All right, now I've got one for you to solve. 
this is my question here. I've represented it with an arrow. How would I write that as an addition expression? And how would I solve it? Go ahead and try that out. What do you think that represents? This one represents starting at negative 4 and adding 6. In other words, we say negative 4 plus 6 equals 2. Is that what you had? Now we're going to write it out. We have another question here where we start at 1 and then we go to the left 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. So we start at 1 and we add negative 4. We're going to the left 4 spaces. We would write this out as 1 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 3. That's how this would work. Now, I want to talk about something called distance. So far we've been adding these negative numbers and, and moving an arrow around. What does that have to do with distance? Well, if we're going to look at this question here, starting at negative 5 and adding 30, we would write it like this, negative 5 plus 30 equals 25. And the distance is always going to be written in a positive number. So the distance, we could say the distance from negative 5 to 25 is 30. Whatever we're adding is the distance. All right, it's the distance between those two points. Now, what we've done in the past with distance is some of the questions have been adding a negative number. The distance would never be written as a negative. So, in this case, our distance between the two points is 30. That's what we're adding in there. If we go back to our previous example, the distance between those two points is 4. Because although we are going negative 4, that distance measurement is 4 spaces. We wouldn't say... I'm negative six feet tall because I'm standing on my head, right? A person is their height, all right? You don't walk five miles one direction and negative five miles the other direction, right? You'd walk five miles and five more miles. So distance is actually always going to be positive. So let's identify first off this distance. What's the distance between these two points? We're going from negative 1 and adding 1, so our distance between those points is 1. That's how far we're moving. All right. Now, this goes back to our previous lesson. When we do add those numbers, negative 1 plus positive 1, we will get 0. So that tells us when we add opposites, we get 0. If you go from negative 1, one space to the right, you'll get to zero. So again, the distance between the points negative one and zero is one. And you can see that as the, the distance between the first number and the answer is the middle number. All right, couple things to remember. Adding is joining together, absolutely joining together. Adding positive numbers increases, adding negative numbers decrease. And the distance is the amount that you are adding and it's always going to be positive. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.